Tin cup for a chalice. No red wine here today though, folks. Just a freezing cold Coors Light. Twenty twenty three and season four. I think this will even go to twenty twenty four. I don't know. All I can tell you is that we've been sailing the boat and enjoying ourselves. Minimal amount of boat work this year, but that's okay. I want to enjoy my family. I want to enjoy the boat, and I also want to enjoy some boat drinks. Nothing better than being sun kissed on the uh, water. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed these videos, and if there's something you want to see, I implore you to reach out and ask me, and I'm more than happy to record it for you. Boat work is my favorite, so if you have some need for a helping hand, by all means, just reach out. I'm here. But until then, I hope you guys uh, hit that like and subscribe button, and cheers to you in the water. Back to that tin cup. The song, Tin Cup is a Chalice. It really doesn't matter what you're drinking out of or what you're wearing. It's a cool little metaphor. Tin Cup could be a chalice of a king. Tin Cup, as good as any other cup. Same thing for what you're wearing, same thing for what kind of boat you got, same thing for what you drive, where you live, doesn't matter. Make it yours, make it count. Let's go back to this now. Yeah, cheers. So, Doing a lot of thinking today. I got the day off. I'm not going to be uh, giving you guys any sailing footage today. Um, I was thinking about the Jimmy Buffett thing, right? I've never been affected by an artist passing away. I find it just to be it's sad, but I move on rather quick. I keep thinking about Jimmy Buffett and what that man has done for, for really my life. Uh, I can remember the first time I ever heard a song, it was Coconut Telegraph. And I gotta tap this so we can still see myself. Get back a little bit. Uh, Coconut Telegraph. And I was in my friend Tom Mars' car. It was a, like an Isuzu Pup or something like that, little Jeep. And I was like, what is this? And I was instantly hooked. And at that point in time, I was all motorcycles and skateboards and BMX bikes and whatnot, but I truly fell in love with the water on that day. And just the, the romance, so to speak, that Jimmy Buffett inspires when you, when you look at it. Um, yeah, so, you know, I was thinking about a lot of things. And I was reading my book, by the way, if you're looking for a good book to read, Adrift, not the movie book Adrift. Uh, this one, 76 Days Lost at Sea. We'll get to that another time. But thinking about all of this it's just like man he died probably the richest man I don't mean monetarily to me money is useless I mean it serves its purpose right but um, it comes it goes when we die we don't take it with us but memories memories are my currency actions deeds everything like that people you meet Oh, this man met everybody, he did everything, he inspired so many people. And then to pass away with that amount of baggage, so to speak, he's, he's, he's moving along with quite a purse. And for that, I'm, I'm grateful. But that really makes me think that I kind of wanted to say to you guys who watch or maybe just happen upon this channel, stop worrying. Stop worrying about people. Stop worrying about money. Stop worrying about stress. The stresses in life, right? Maybe I'm saying that wrong, but you know, there's people that aren't gonna like you. There's people that are gonna like you. Uh, whether they do or don't is of no consequence to yourself. The only person that needs to be comfortable with their own skin and their personality is you. So you need to just sit there and think about that one for a second. And money. Yes, we all need it. I'm not saying it's a nuisance. Well, it is a nuisance, but it's a necessity. But stop worrying about how much you make, how little you have. Get by. Do what you got to do to get by. If you get extra, you're not taking it with you. Do what you can with it. You know, buy a sailboat. Buy an old sailboat. Fix it up on a budget. Uh, 
Go on a trip. Go out to dinner with an old friend. But you can't take it with you. So do something with it. Don't hoard it. Don't hoard anything. And then, you know, like, as a, the bald eagle right here. It's gorgeous. Sorry. He's a big old bald eagle flying right here. Maybe you'll catch him in a second. Maybe. I don't know. If he's in there, he's in there. So, yeah, stop worrying about people. But what you do want to start hoarding are those memories. I mean, we get one chance to live. One chance here. That's it. And if you're going to blow it on worrying about what other people think, or what's in your pocket, or what shoes you're wearing, or what shirt, or what hat did you shave today? Are my legs hairy? Am I fat? You're going to blow it. You're going to waste it. So stop. Stop right now. Look out your window. Go find a, a, a path, a, a, a grassy knoll, a beach. Get a book. Bring your camera. Do something to start making memories, to start building up your coffers. Because again, that's all you get to take with you. Sorry for the rant. Sorry for no sailing this week. I just, uh, I've been thinking a lot about that. And I've always thought that I wanted to die with more memories than money. But after seeing him go, it just really kind of hit me uh, a little harder to start thinking about stuff like that. So if you're still here right now listening to me, well, God bless you and cheers. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. But again, ooh, just spilled a little bit of that. Memories, not money. That's all. That's all, folks. I'm going to set you off with a little view of this marina for a minute. Maybe I'll rant a little bit more. Uh, an over 40 victim of fate. Mm. Yep, just go find some place like this. Go sit there. Go chill. Go make some memories. Go hang out with someone you haven't seen in a long time. Go read a book. Watch a movie with your kids. Go swimming. Make a fool of yourself. Make somebody else smile. That's all that really matters. And do epic things every day. Try to do something that scares you at least once a week. Get out of that comfort zone. And come sailing with me. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, sorry for the lack of video this week. This is just what was on my mind, and I wanted to put it out there. So cheers.